Let's talk about solid tools. Solid tools can be accessed from different areas. The first one is in Home tab. You got the modeling tools and you have Extrude, Revolve, Loft and Sweep. Or you can go directly to Model. And here you got the solid tools there next to surface tools. So in this example, I got already some surface created on that part uh, right there, just to limit my extrusion, for instance, and I will hide the cloud or the mesh and display my sketches. So I got the first sketch here. If I add the software to extrude it in solid, uh, I can, as in any CAD software, extrude it up to a value. Uh, here I can ask to, to, to go to 50, or I can add the software to go up to a surface and select that surface. And okay. Now I can hide that surface and display my solid body. And then I can display another sketch like that sec uh, third sketch here. And on that sketch, that sketch, I will extrude it again. So in this case, I will extrude it up to uh, 50 millimeters. And the software asks you if you want to use cut or merge. In this case, I will not select any of this and I will press OK. So now I got two bodies. In this software, we can use the Boolean operation, which is there, that helps you to make different kind of operation like merge, cut, intersect. So I forgot to cut that one. I can anyway go back to the extrude and modify and ask the software to cut it but if i want to do it afterwards i can ask the software to cut it the tool body is going to be that one the target body is going to be this one and okay so the software makes automatically double in operation now if i go to the last sketch i build here uh, this one will be more a revolution so i will ask the software to make a revolve on that one Software always asks me which sketch I want to use, so I want to use that one. And it finds automatically the axis, or I can define it myself. I can also ask to cut or merge the body. Again, I will do it not on that one, or I can do it here as the software to merge it. And this time, this time the function is called merge, so revolve one and merge. And I got only one solid body here. For the loft solid feature, we can just create here, use the sections we got on the part and create a loft. Then here, the software asks me for the profile. So I got different sections. Uh, I will select the first one and the second one. As in the CAD software, we can select multiple sections. They have to be closed, of course, and we can decide afterwards where is our start point over there. And just to get at the end the solid body that defines my loft feature. And finally, for the sweep feature, we just need to have a part with the curves, so with the sketches. So if I hide, I got the shape of the, of the hose, and then I got here the path of the curve. So I will just create a sweep, define my profile, then define the path. I can define all the parameters like that here and press OK. Of course, at the end, I got the part which is created there. 